ladies. So we're going to do our ballet class. Actually, we're going to do all of our dance styles, but we're going to start with ballet just like we do in class. So we're going to be starting at our bar, which is at home, it's just the back of a chair, or like you could hold the edge of a bookshelf or the back of your couch or whatever. You could even do it without a bar and just stand like this and be super strong. So we're going to start in our first position. It seemed a little loud to me. Okay, we're going to start in our first position. One hand on the bar. Make sure you're turning out from the top of your legs. And we go demi-plie, little bend, and straight. Plie, straight, ground plie, all the way down. And we're going to stretch forward today. And come up. And time to second position, same thing. Demi, make sure you don't stick your butt back. It comes straight down. And ground plie. And we're going to stretch into our bar. And fifth position, you take your outside leg. And you bring it straight in until your heel touches your toe. Down, straight, down, straight, grand plie. And we're going to stretch forward one more time. And balance in your susu. Squeeze your legs tight. And plie, good job. Okay, we're going to do it again on our other side. So I'm just going to move my bar to the other side of my body. Ready? First position. Standing up really tall. Demi. Straight. Demi. Oh, that does go. Straight. Ground plie. Mm. Only and stretch forward. Second position, demi, demi, and ground plie, and stretch into the bar, and up, and fifth position again, you're going to point your toe, and bring it all the way in until your heel touches your opposite toe, demi, straight, Demi, your heels stay on the ground, remember. Ground plie. And we stretch forward. And squeeze your legs together. And come down, good job. Put it back on this side. We're going to do our tendus and our round de jambes. So we're going to be in our first position again, heels together. Toes apart. Ready, we time you front, close. Two times on quad. That means in the shape of a cross, which really just means you're going to go front, side, back, and side again. And now we're going to do three round jumps in each direction. So we're going to go front. Remember, we don't cross over the top, we just go straight out. And you're going to circle to the back again. Don't cross. Don't trip yourself. Just front, back. Okay, again, front, back. Last time we go front and back. Then first position. Now we're going to go back to front. Tap you to the back. Circle out to the side and to the front. Back, circle, front. Last time we go back, circle, front. Good job. Switch your bar. First position. And we go tendu, front, together. Front, together. And side. We're doing two on quad. Front, side, back, side. And now we're on your jump. Tendu, front. Circle out away from your body and to the back. 
two more times. Away from your body, to the back, and circle. Now we're going to go back to front. We turn you back. We still circle away from our body. Okay, we're going to do our ground bahas. This one's going to be tricky if you're doing it without a bar. Ready? First position. I'll go this way. I'll just do forward, actually. Okay, ready? Let's wait for the music. And you're going to kick super high, point your toe, and keep your knees straight the whole time. And to the side. And side one more time. Keep that knee straight. Good job. Second side. We kick front and down. Front and down. Now we go side. You gotta point your toes. And side one more time. Good job. We're done with our bar now, so you can just scooch that out of your way. And we're going to practice some of our stuff that we do in our dance, our different moves and things. Got to pick some more fun music. Here we go. Okay, first we're going to do jumps. So we're just going to practice our A chape and our C zone. Those are both in our first section of our ballet dance. So A chape is where you have your feet together, you jump up and apart, and then you jump up and together, and that's one. I'm going to scoot back because I'm afraid I'm going to hit this thing up. Okay, again, we jump up and open, up and close. We're going to go four times now. Ready? Open, close, open, close. This is three. And four. Good job. Now for a C stone. This one is the one where you go from two feet and you land on one foot. So I'm standing on both feet. I'm going to jump up and land on one foot. And then I get to come together. So we go up one foot together. Up one foot together. Up one foot together. Up one foot together. Good job. That's C stone. Okay, let's do our glee side. This one's gonna be a little tricky in a small space, but you got it. Glee side goes brush, then you're gonna jump up and land on this foot. I switch feet, and then I bring them together. Good. Brush, switch, together. Brush, switch, together. Let's try the other side. Go brush, switch, together. Brush, switch, together. Again, we go brush, switch feet, and come together. Brush, switch feet, come together. Other side. Brush your right foot up, jump and land on it, and then bring your other foot in, because you don't want to stand on one foot for too long. Switch feet, and together. Good job. Okay, now our padasha. Try to do it before I do it, if you remember, okay? Padasha. It goes passe, passe. So we're gonna jump and do two passes. Passe, passe. Passe, passe. Good job. And let's do some this way too. So now we're gonna pick up our right leg first. Passe and switch feet. Passe and switch. Passe, passe. Pas de chat. It means step of the cat. We go, you're gonna jump like a cat. When it gets scared, it goes, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. So you're gonna go, I'm scared. What was that? I don't know. And go back the other way, jump. Passe, passe. Good, jump. And jump. Good job. Okay, let's practice our tombe pas de bure. So tombe pas de bure is side, back, side, front. So it's four steps. We go side, back, side, front. 
side, back, side, front. Other side, step on your right, close back, open, close front. Side, back, side, front. Good, let's do that one a couple more times. Side, back, side, front. Side, back, side, front. Other side, we go side, back, side, front. Side, back, side, front. Good job. Okay, now we're gonna move into our turns. We're gonna do shinny turn first. Shinny turn is where you flip like a pancake. So you're gonna go up in your first position and flip, 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 flip. Good job, let's go the other side. Make sure when you're doing this that you always bring your shoulder towards the screen first. So I'm turning towards you, see? Instead of turning away from you like this. Okay, let's try towards the camera, towards the camera, towards the screen, towards the screen. Good job. We're going to go back the other way. Forward, 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 forward. Good. So we go flip, 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 flip. And second side, spin, 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 spin. Good job. We got to even up one more time. One, two, three, four. Good job. Now our PK turn. This one's a little bit harder. We're going to do our passe like this, and we're going to spin while we do it. So I'm going to step on this leg. I'm going to pick this one up, and I'm still turning towards the screen. Spin towards the screen. Towards the screen. And then you have to set your foot down and re-step every time. So I go step, passe, spin, set it down. That's one. Now I start over. Step, passe, spin, set it down. Step, passe, spin, set it down. Good. Let's try the other side. Just do a passe first. Make sure you remember you're going to make a triangle by pointing your toe to your knee. Passe. Now we're going to step, passe, spin, set it down. Step, passe, spin, set it down. Now we're going to speed it up a little bit. Step in, spin, spin, spin. Step in, spin, spin, spin. This is our PK turn. One more time, other side. PK, PK. Good job. Grab a quick sip of water. Okay, we're going to do one more non-spinning move. It's called chasse, because we didn't practice this one before when we were doing our still moves. Chasse, you're going to have one foot in front of the other. We're, we're going to do it today facing our leg. Sometimes you do it facing the front like this. Today we're going to go facing our leg. You're going to go step together, step. So it's like your back leg is chasing your front leg. It goes chase, 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 chase. Other side, your back leg chases your front. It comes together, together, together. Good, so we go chasse, chasse. And other side, chasse, chasse. Good job. Okay, let's do a little piece of our dance. I'm gonna play this song. Ready? Remember which room you're in. Ready? Walk. 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 space. Jump. Cross. Turn. Step and turn. This is a tricky one. Chasse. 
Brush, switch feet. Passe. Sauté. Cross and wind. Side, back, side, front. Balance. And now my back row runs off. Knee side. Cada shot. Knee side. Cada shot. We're in opposite directions. Good job. Okay, that's it for ballet today. Let's welcome back for tap. Okay, I want to start with some music and we're going to start by tapping our toes and our heels. We're going to start tapping out like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Good job. That's paradiddle. 
one of my all-time favorite tap steps. It's the best. Okay, we're going to practice another one that's in our dance. This one doesn't have a name. I just made it up. It's kind of half of another step. But it starts with falap. Remember, falap is brush touch. Brush touch. Let's do four falaps with each foot. Brush touch. Brush touch. Brush touch. Brush touch. Good. Other foot. Brush slap. Brush slap. It's like you're going to stomp a bug. Brush and slam it down. Brush and stop. Good. There might have been more than four. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Extra practice is good. Okay, so now we're going to do our collapse to the side. So we're going to go side, down, and see how my heel isn't touching the ground. That's really important because it's going to set down separately. So it goes one, two, three, and then I'm going to drop this heel over here. Okay, so you go brush, catch, heel, heel. Brush, catch, heel, heel. Brush, touch, heel, heel. So we do that, but we switch sides with it. We're going to go brush, toe, heel, heel, step together. And then we're going to go this way. Brush, touch, heel, heel, together. Brush, touch, heel, heel, together. Brush, touch, heel, heel, together. So now we're going to do a little turn. When we step together, we're going to turn. We go brush, touch, heel, heel, together, and half turn so you face the back. Now we're going to switch feet still, so we're going to start with this foot here. We're still going the same direction. Brush, touch, heel, heel. Now I'm going to bring this foot in and flip to the front. Good. We're going to go the other way now. Brush, touch, heel, heel, together, and flip to the back. Touch, heel, heel, together, flip to the front. Good job. That's a tricky one, but keep practicing. You're going to get it really well. Flap, heel, heel, half turn. Flap, heel, heel, half turn. Other side. Flap, heel, heel, half turn. Flap, heel, heel, half turn. Good job. Okay, we're going to practice our Irishes now. Irish was one of your challenge steps for last week, so hopefully you've been practicing it. Irish is shuffle, hop, step. Three moves. Three moves. It goes shuffle, hop, step. That's one Irish. Make sure when you hop that you don't switch feet. So your shuffle freezes in the air, and it's going to stay here. Hold it up. Step. Other foot. Shuffle. Hold it, pop, step, shuffle, hold it, pop, step. Good job. So we can't go like this because that's a buffalo. So let's do four Irishes traveling forward, which is how we normally do it. Shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step, shuffle, hop, step. Good. So now in our dance, there's a point where we have to do Irish traveling back, which sounds super complicated, but actually it's really easy. You're going to do everything the same, shuffle, hold it up, pop, except instead of setting my foot down in front, I'm going to set it down in back. And then I switch feet, so shuffle, pop, set it down back. Good. 
Open. Cross. Open. Cross. Open. Cross. Open. Cross. Open. Second side. Cross. Open. Cross. Open. Cross. Open. Cross. Open. Good. Okay, let's review our buffaloes. Buffalo, we finally get to switch feet. So we're going to go shuffle. Shuffle still stops in the air. It always stops in the air. We switch feet. And we step. Step. I totally did that wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I did like, I started the left side, but I was pretending like I was on the right. Very confusing. Step. Starts with the step. Shuffle. Then switch feet. Step. Shuffle. Switch feet. Step. Notice how my shuffle stopped right there. Now I'm going to jump onto this foot that's in the air. Switch feet. Good. Step, shuffle, switch. Step, shuffle, switch. Step, shuffle, switch. Step, shuffle, switch. Good. Second side. Step, shuffle, switch. Step, shuffle, switch. Step, shuffle, switch. Step, shuffle, switch. Good. Okay, let's practice our maxi forward. Maxi forward is a buffalo with a toe. So we're going to go step, shuffle, switch. Now I'm going to do toe back on top of my toe like we did at the beginning when we did this. We go on the top of the toe. Step, shuffle, switch, toe. Step, shuffle, switch, toe. Step, shuffle, switch, toe. Step, shuffle, switch, toe. Second side. Okay, we gotta do the ending again because the camera cut off on me. So we gotta do second side on our maxi board. Ready? We go step, shuffle, switch, toe. Step, shuffle, switch, toe. Step, shuffle, switch, toe. Last time, step, shuffle, switch, feet, and toe. Good job. Let me turn on music because it's too quiet. Okay, so the last thing we're going to work on is falap walks and falap heel walks. So usually we practice our falap standing still like this, but just like we practiced earlier with our falap heel and heel together, sometimes you have to switch your weight so that you're standing on that falap. So we're going to walk with our falap. We go rush, step, and you're going to stand on that. When you step, you stand on it. Rush, stand on it. Rush, stand on it. Rush, step, rush, step. Good. Other side. You go rush, step on your toes the whole time. Don't let your heels touch the ground. Rush, step, rush, step, rush, step. This time we get to let our heels touch the ground. So I'm going to go rush, step, and then set my heel down. So it makes three sounds. It goes one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Voila. Other side. Brush, toe, heel. Brush, toe, heel. Brush, toe, heel. Brush, toe, heel. Good job. That's all we're going to do for today. Hey guys. So, this is our Bible lesson for this week. We're talking about John the Baptist. Now, there had been, before Jesus was born, there had been 400 years of silence. So, there was the prophets of the Old Testament, we talked about those a little bit with like Elijah and Elisha. Um, there were a lot more than just those two. Those were the main two that we focused on, but there were a lot of prophets. And then after the last one, there were 400 years where God didn't speak to his people at all. And then he sent John the Baptist right before Jesus so that he could tell everyone about Jesus. So John the Baptist, it says that he was born about six months before Jesus was born. And he came as a prophet for the very reason of preparing people to meet Jesus and to understand what Jesus had to tell them. It says in Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3 here, it says, The voice of one crying in the wilderness Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. 
Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough places smooth. When he says that, the voice of one crying in the wilderness, that one is actually John the Baptist, preparing the way for the Lord. In Malachi, which was the last prophet before the New Testament, it also says, again about John the Baptist, it says, Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. And the Lord whom you seek will suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant in whom you delight. Behold, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. Now John, he didn't have a home when he was born and he came finally to tell people about Jesus coming. He didn't have a home.